this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. This is going to be for August 4th through the 6th. Keep in mind with this being general energy, you only want to take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. Now, if you want a personal, you need one, just check out the information below. And make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss whenever we upload here. It's a vibe. And I, I advise you guys to subscribe. All right? And I didn't even mean to like make that rhyme just now but that was cool anyways going straight into the reading the first card is going to represent you and your present situation and i do have the magician card so right off the bat virgos during this time frame it has a lot to do with your personal view of things and i think i say this a lot for you guys it, it just tarot is interesting because it, it definitely reflects where your mind is at but with the magician card here in reverse this time frame has a lot to do with your personal view on things because whenever the magician card comes into play this is like being able to master the elements or everything that you have around you and make it better or to you know take it to the next level be able to turn nothing into something and with the magician card in reverse some of you it's more so like your disbelief and your ability to turn like you not having a job right now or for like the past couple of months into being able to you know have a job or turn that around or you know for others of you having a dry love life for a long time some of you don't believe that you could turn that around and actually manifest new love so where's your personal belief system at in terms of yourself and also the universe but also your personal ability to change the circumstances that you're in and for a lot of you during this time frame um the big thing that i'm getting is this is going to be really good for you guys to release um release a lot of pent up feelings like literally some of you may cry during this time frame and I don't mean this in a negative sense like you're gonna cry from like sadness this may be crying in a good way because you guys have came so far in full circle okay this literally is a, a circle but this is also like something being destroyed and then you got the trees down here so it's like it, it's rebirth that you guys have been going through for the past mm, two three years honestly this has not been like a slow i mean this has not been like a fast process of transformation this has been a very drawn out long process and for a lot of you it's more so you needing to have more faith in self now what actions can you take during this time frame i do have the eight of cups in reverse so this is making sure with anything that you've walked away from or that you're about to walk away from, whether that's a marriage, family situation, what have you, understand that there is no need for you to have a level of guilt or, yeah, a need for you to feel guilty or feel as if you're making the wrong decision by removing yourself from anything that you're emotionally disconnected from. OK, if anything, this time frame, what will benefit you is taking control or a structure over your life. OK, whenever the emperor comes up, this is about taking action. This is about being on top of your stuff. This is about being unapologetically on top of your your ish. OK, so for a lot of you, this time frame, what will benefit you is really focusing on yourself and doing you, but also like removing the guilt or the, well, did I make the right choice by cutting this person off? Did I make the right choice by doing this when you know deep down your intuition was leading you to do so or that it was the right thing to do? Especially because I meant to say this earlier with this card, some of you may have a manipulator that's starting to become overwhelming. Some of you feel some type of way about the fact that a situation is too stressful and you can't necessarily change the circumstances. Now, when it comes to what I see for the obscure challenge, I do have the four of this here. So the challenge may be completely letting something go. It may be literally because you can't. Like, for instance, you may have children with someone and you guys are not on the best terms. And there may be, you know, a little bit of hurt there because of what they may have put you through. Or they may still be hurt about some things that happen in the connection and you can't necessarily leave them in your past or like some of you may work with your ex or something or in some way you're still connected to someone you may um, have had a past with 
For others of you, this is more so you needing to open up and you guys having a hard time doing so. So this is opening up to newness. I already know for most of my earth signs, it's not an easy process to be like, okay, I'm going to take a leap of faith and do this. And then I'm going to do this and I'm going to open up to this possibility. You guys only like to open up to things that feel safe and secure. So I get that. But make sure you guys don't block out really great opportunities by being closed off to new possibilities um, financially and in regards to love. Okay, clarifying that I do have the Ace of Pentacles. So again, new opportunities. This is literally what I'm talking about. Some of you need to drop a wall, a defense, a need to be cooped up in the house alone. Also, this is saving. Um, some of you do need to work on like saving or spending habits, putting money away, especially if you're trying to change your job or transition or do anything big with finances. Now, when it comes to what I see for the future, I do have the page of pentacles or the princess of Dis in this deck. So in the future, um, I see you wanting more for yourself and I see you guys having like this genuine thirst to improve your finances, improve your health, improve all the like important practical areas in your life. Yeah. And some of you also may be looking at more so of a friends with benefits situation and contemplating on whether or not you're going to put energy into that. Um, especially if this is like, um, a Capricorn, for others of you, it's not a friends with benefits situation. It's either like working its way up to a connection or a relationship where you guys are just eh. And you, you guys still may be expecting this person to get their act together. But you, again, it's like pulling teeth with that person. <laughs> and a lot of you already know that. Now, when it comes to the advice for you, I do have the princess of wands in reverse. So don't let outside energy outside people irritate the crap out of you during this time frame that's like the first piece of advice or warning okay also this is making sure that you work on your personal anger um, and how you take things during this time frame because things could irritate you when it doesn't have to be that big of a, a deal okay it's all in how you control your energy are you someone who's a master at being able to control their energy or do you let energy around you control you Okay, but this is what I see in terms of energy. I hope I did put things in perspective. If you took something from this video, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Of course, all my information will be below for a reading and I'll see you in the next one.